evening everyone. I am Malaika Howell. Welcome back to another episode of Youth Knowledge with Skanaipo. Tonight our topic is IPN Youth. We will be advocating for innovation among the youth. We'll have a short commercial break and be right back with more Youth Knowledge with Skanaipo. Youth Lounge with Skanaipa is sponsored in part by the St. Kitts Electricity Company, Skellic, powering the community. We're giving you the power to create lasting memories, to accomplish your wildest dreams, the power to set a goal and achieve it. And we're doing so in the moments when you need us most. We think of you in all we do. Because we are not just an energy provider, we are tested, committed, efficient, and most of all, we are an electricity company that you can depend on, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Scalic, powering your community with reliability. Lounge with Skanaipa is sponsored by the Department of Youth Empowerment. Whether you're a local gem or a national brand, ZIZ TV is the platform to elevate your presence, capture attention, drive sales, and make a lasting impression on thousands of potential customers. Don't miss out on this prime advertising space. Contact us now at 465 2621. That's 465 2621 and speak to our marketing experts. Catch the eyes, make the sales, advertise here on ZIZ TV. Healthwise on ZIZ TV, Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Hosted by Dr. Malik Lescott, Dr. Jolette Woodley, and Dr. Patrice Lawrence. Join us on ZIZ TV for Youth Lounge with Skanaipo, a talk show on vital topics such as tourism, entrepreneurship, education, religion, sex education, and mental health. Featuring experts from St. Kitts and Nevis and the Caribbean region. Tune in live on the first and third Wednesday of every month at 8.30 p.m. on ZIZ TV. Good evening once again. Welcome to another episode of Youth on Just Ganaipa. If you're just joining me, I am Malaika Howell and I'm here with our first guest for this evening. I'll allow her to introduce herself. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure. Uh, good night to our viewing audience via TV and the various social media platforms. My name is Shanika Alexander and I am the owner and the stylist or the hairstylist Key specialist at Meraki by Shanika. So Shanika, what is Meraki? Tell us more about Meraki. Uh, you want to know about the, the word? Sure, or tell me about the word, tell me about everything, <laughs> everything you have in store. So we are trademarked as Miraki by Shanika, mm -hmm. the pursuit and care of healthy hair. Mm. Yes, and the word Miraki is actually uh, from the Greek language mm -hmm. and it really means, it's translated to leaving an essence of yourself in your work. Other it. translations might even say that you do what you do with passion, mm -hmm. love, and real dedication. I love that. Yeah, I so love that, that. that really does embody what we stand for at the, the business, that we really take at real passion mm -hmm. and the care of healthy hair. Right, I love that. Now, you yes. would have mentioned that Meraki is trademarked. Yes. What was that process like, and how <laughs> did you end up, you know, <sighs> having a local business that is trademarked uh well we are so grateful to have had the opportunity it really came about around this time last year um the ipo skn that is the intellectual properties office in st kitts and nevis mm -hmm. they held a competition Mm -hmm. It was a part of the celebration to commemorate World, 
Yes, yes. well, intellectual property. Yes. Hence why the theme of the show. Okay, great. <laughs> so um, what we had to do within that competition is women, business women, within the Federation, we were to really post as much as we can during that week about our business mm -hmm. and really emphasizing or highlighting what about our business is innovative and creative and how those characteristics really propel mm -hmm. um, the success within our business. And I was happy to be one of the three winners for that competition. The prize, yes, the prize was that we were able to be given not only free counsel, mm -hmm. but we were able to be um, registered as a trademark right. under one category. So one class, okay. Yes, so they actually gave us a very good head start as it relates to becoming trademark. Correct. And that is an opportunity. A really nice push. Yes, and that's an opportunity that I was really grateful for mm -hmm. because it can be um, expensive and yeah. time consuming, but the staff, they really did provide a lot of assistance and a task that we might have procrastinated on mm -hmm. because of the the lot of work that it takes. Yeah, because it might be a treacherous journey to, you know, to get mm -hmm. the final product. Yes, so they really did help us to get that accomplished in a timely manner. Right. Yes. So you would have applied, this is what, this is April? Mm -hmm. And when did you actually receive your trademark documents? We received the, the actual documents a few months after. So it would the have gone through the, the full process and then thereafter you got your certificate. Yes, and then we were presented with the certificates. Right. Yes. What inspired you to, you know, go in and trademark it is a case where you're like, I want to be the only one. Nobody could touch this. <laughs> what pushed you to actually go ahead and enter the competition? Well, that is very interesting that you say you want to be the only one. <laughs> because um, when it is you go into business, you don't want to go into the business with that competitive mindset. Mm -hmm. Business, small business, especially the beauty industry right. of which I'm a part of, it can um, appear competitive but my personal motivation is that I compete with myself the best version of who I can be and what I can offer mm -hmm. to potential clients right so when the opportunity came up to be trademarked that came from me having a very strong conviction mm -hmm. concerning who I am as a professional and the product and services that I offer and the level of quality that I offer. Mm -hmm. When it comes to innovation and creativity, it really speaks to you being fresh, staying right. constant, um, having the ability to resolve matters for your clients. Mm -hmm. And you want, when you have already been inspired with the strategies to get that done, that they are protected in a way not to say that I have something that somebody else don't have, but really to ensure that I'm protected in a way that other people don't benefit in a way that I cannot. Right, yes. right. I understand that. I understand mm -hmm. that completely. So can you give an explanation of what the process itself was like from your end, of course, as mm -hmm. it pertains to the information that had to be given, mm -hmm. you know, the time waiting and stuff like that? What was that process like? Um, so, like I mentioned earlier, the staff, um, Mrs. Jihan Knight, mm -hmm. um, as well as Ms. St. Catherine, mm -hmm. they are very hands-on right. and very super supportive with candidates looking to apply mm -hmm. for trademarking. So, they really help you when it comes to um, the legality of it, because a lot of the language can be complicated. For me, I would encourage persons to first take the time to research and really understand what you are about. Mm -hmm. The IP world is very fa vast. Oh, very vast. <laughs> it's very vast. <laughs> and when, when you talk about protecting your MAC, you're not just protecting your MAC within the, feder the Federation mm -hmm. or even within places that your products may reach. Mm -hmm. You're talking about protection globally. Globally, yes. And so that really takes into context the fact that you have to make sure that you're properly registering in a class that protects not only the product that right. you're offering today, but what your product can potentially go into. Right. So for me, going in, I needed to properly 
um, understand where I wanted my business to go, where I wanted the map to go. Right. And then that would provide the office with a very good blueprint as to guide you along the steps to go. Right, because today you might be selling here and tomorrow you're selling clothes under the same brand. Yes. And of course, I would expect that those are two yes. different classes. Yeah, and, and that's where innovation comes in, right? Mm -hmm. Because innov with being innovative means that you're ready to address any concerns. You're ready to answer any issue. Right. You know, one of my mentors, uh, my spiritual mom, Dr. Debbie Isaac, she actually says that you pursue business for the need, for the need, firstly, of solving a problem, mm -hmm. meeting a need, mm -hmm. rather than wealth. Right. You know, so you have to be innovative in being prepared, being ready to address those needs, but also being ready to anticipate the next need right. that people have. And that's what really keeps you ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. Yes. I understand that. So were there any challenges that you faced on the journey to actually receiving your certificate? Ooh, it was a lot of reading. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the office provides you with a lot of assistance, but you really do have to do your own, research. your own research as it relates to what properly protects every scope of the idea that I have. You know, mm -hmm. when you talk about intellectual property, you're not protecting something that is tangible, but you're protecting your ideas, right. um, the methods and the strategies that is very valuable for your success. Right. Um, you are the one that has that inspiration. Mm -hmm. Whether or not somebody connects well with your dream, it was birthed in you. Right. And so you have to be the one to be able to be committed to doing the research mm -hmm. so that you recognize that I am covered on all bases. Right. You know, for example, you might be assisting me as a lawyer mm -hmm. um, and we're trademarking a particular hairstyle. You may not know all the other You're avenues right. in which somebody can copy right. my techniques. Mm -hmm. And so I have to be the one that's really there. Um, so map it out. Yes, exactly. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. So, as of now, mm -hmm. what are the benefits of having your, your business trademarked? Uh, there are many benefits. Um, but because it's, I would say the, the idea, the vision that I have for my business, even though persons might see that it has already been successful, I still view the idea in its infant stage. Mm -hmm. Not to say that we're immature, right? but just to say that there is, is so just much the more that will come out of Miraki by Shanika. Right. And being trademark really does give you that sense of security. Mm -hmm. It allows me to further expose myself in areas where, okay, I can now start to be seen and seen by competitors right. and persons who would appreciate me alike. Understood. Right? Understood. So, I, uh, having that eye pr protection gives me the confidence that I can now step out into more visibility and not have the concern that you all of your, yes. your idea, your hard work will be stolen. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. We all take inspiration from all over. Sometimes mm -hmm. I, I have, have to be the question. Influenced. Yeah, I have the question, is there anything new? Well, actually, the Bible says that there's nothing new under the sun. Right. But we are being given different um, strategies and ways to accomplish the things that we need to do. Um, so the IP protection really does let me have the opportunity to go out and really be amongst people that are doing similar things and but really get it done in a way that i'm protected understood, understood. we're having a great conversation yeah, but we I'm have happy. to take a short commercial break and yes. be right back with more youth lounge with skaniper youth lounge with skaniper is sponsored in part by the saint kitts electricity company skellic powering the community. Skillex Interactive Voice Response System, a new 24-hour automated call-in service. Access it now at 465-2000 to report faults, receive bill balances, and for the first time ever, you can now make bill payments over the phone, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Access it now by calling 465-2000. Healthwise on Zariza TV Mondays at 8:30 p.m. Hosted by Dr. Malik Lescott, Dr. Jolette Woodley, and Dr. Patrice Lawrence.
It's time that we realize that we must work together to thrive. The world as we know it, the sky and below it. Could I never have more wonder? Yeah, with life and all you see, and the climate's changing. But hope is remaining. And we can't ignore the future, it depends on you and me. One chance, all that we got. One voice, together we start. Take care, the world where we live. Permite a todos vivir. Tomamos la oportunidad, pan cuarta la humanidad. And I must leave no one behind because we are, because we are. One, one, climate, one Caribbean. One, one, climate, one Caribbean. Join us on ZIZ TV for Youth Lounge with Skanaipal, a talk show on vital topics such as tourism, entrepreneurship, education, religion, sex education, and mental health. Featuring experts from St. Kitts and Nevis and the Caribbean region. Tune in live on the first and third Wednesday of every month at 8.30 p.m. on ZIZ TV. Welcome back, welcome back. I am Malika Howell, your host for this evening, and I'm here with our guest, Shanika Alexander of Meraki. And we're speaking about IP as she would have won a competition and gotten her business name and slogan. Can yes. I say it like that? Yes. Trademark. Yes. So you spoke about the benefits of having your business trademark. Can you also encourage youth and you know, give them a reason as to why? their business should be trademarked i mean you know we have a lot of social media businesses yes mm -hmm. they have business license but what should be that thrust for them to go ahead and start that process well first of all um identity mm -hmm. you know you talk about identity you really do have to think about value what's your self-worth and it is important for you after you have had a strong conviction about what it is you can offer the world mm -hmm that you have a sense of security by being protected and that secure space gives you the room to grow in a positive way. Right. You want to grow in a way that encourages um, self-growth. You um, Well, that sounds repetitive, but <laughs> really um, you're growing in a way that encourages yourself, your mm -hmm. in yourself as an individual to be a better person to be a better forward. citizen of the world right. you know you don't want to go in an environment where it's too competitive and hostile and that protection from ip gives you that sort of safe space mm -hmm. to understand that i have a strong value on what it is i have to offer mm -hmm. and persons that might be doing something similar to i mm -hmm. will not have an unfair advantage over me understood yeah so your thing is definitely you have to lock in what is yours i mean mm -hmm. everybody everybody wants to make it which is fine everybody mm -hmm. has to benefit but from this time you are able to understand this is my idea this is my creativity it's time mm -hmm. to lock it in yes and especially we don't want to look at ourselves at a disadvantage mm -hmm. but the reality is that we are a smaller country right and so we have less access to some of the things that um, people in other regions have access mm -hmm. to so the trademark is very important because it allows you that space mm -hmm. to be able to access the resources that takes you to another level yeah. before somebody else who has them readily available could capitalize on your idea, mm -hmm. right? So for myself, one of the things that are um, trademark under my slogan is our hair care line. Mm. Now this hair care line has been birthed out of techniques that I have ta tried mm -hmm. and proven within a hair salon that works. that works for me. We do not produce most of the ingredients on island. Mm. And so if I'm not protected, if my brand is not protected, Somebody then cares. when I try to market it on an international scale, right. then somebody else could more readily copy it. And probably and push sell it, it for a cheaper price yes. as well. So the IP protection really gives me that type of space that I have the room and time to grow 
in the way that I can benefit from my strategies. So, well, on mm -hmm. the topic of growth, you're now yes. trade max, you have mm -hmm. your hair care line. What's next for Miraki? Um, Miraki by Shanika has been tremendously blessed. Mm -hmm. We're in business now for uh, over 12 years. Wow. We've been using... More than halfway. <laughs> yes, we've been <laughs> using that brand for just about three years now. Mm -hmm. And we've seen tremendous success as it relates to satisfying our clientele. Mm -hmm. um, we, like I said, are very grateful for what we've been able to achieve. And the next step we would like to, to, to really get into expressing a bit more gratitude to the community that has served me so well. Mm -hmm. And so being able to share in a safe place um, the things that I've learned yes. um, to other professionals, to other aspiring professionals, that is something definitely that we're working Sounds on. Sounds like we're working on a master class. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like yes. we're pushing for a master class. Yes, yeah, something of that sort. Mm -hmm. But really, I do have a passion for teaching. Um, I have a passion for learning <laughs> and so yes so it's natural for me to want to pass right. it on so I am passionate about seeking out opportunities in which I could be able to help person that has that desire not only within the, the beauty industry but when it comes to young professionals as well so when we speak about young professionals what advice do you have to entrepreneurs or Insp aspiring entrepreneurs as it pertains to the journey? Well, it's a long ride, so they should buckle up. <laughs> uh, but really, one of the things that really do help me, even to this day, is that you remain teachable. Mm. One of the things that really pulled uh, uh, was pulled out of me during the IP process was being confident in what I have. Mm -hmm. Now you don't want to be so confident that you become arrogant. Right. And we grow by getting, continuing to receive from others. So being in a space where you remain open to teaching helps that innovative part of you. You know, you keep um, perfecting your craft. You don't get into business. It is fine that you get an idea, but you don't go into business thinking that I've arrived. <laughs> there is always room to grow. There is always higher places for you to be. There is always more of an impact that you can make on others. And so it is very important for young people, mm -hmm. even in the confidence that we want you to embrace, that you remain in a state that you still recognize that there is space for me to do better There's and to do to more. Go. Yes. More to go. yes. So what happens in cases where you may feel stuck? When you may feel stuck. stuck. In business, mm -hmm. well, it's important to rest. <laughs> rest and move and yes, try again. Yeah. Rest is very important when it comes to business. I mean, when it comes to social media, mm -hmm. it gives you the the um the feel like you have to keep going. You have mm -hmm. to keep going. Um, especially when it comes to small business owners, we feel like it's all on us. Right. You know, that's 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 a huge part where faith comes in. Oh, we've spoken to some business owners on this, this <laughs> show before and they've said they went mm -hmm. from having an 8 to 4, 9 to 5 to mm -hmm. working 24 hours. Yeah. You know, rest isn't really, hey, let me schedule it in here. You know, mm -hmm. it's more of a, when it's happened, it's happened. But mm -hmm. based on what you're saying, in order to keep functioning, you yes. have to ensure that you rest. Yes, you have to rest physically and also spiritually. Mm -hmm. um, we are spiritual beings and we have to recognize that as spiritual beings, we're not in and of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we have to have the mentality that we know that we are we're relying on someone, we're relying on God that is um, controlling mm -hmm. and knows and sees all and mm -hmm. he's the one that's giving us all this opportunity so being able to rest keeps you in that mindset that it's not on me I should not be relying on myself mm -hmm. and it also gives an opportunity to rejuvenate because if you have that faith that it's going to be well awesome. then you will have the encouragement that I can take a break and everything won't collapse. Right. Or I can take a break and somebody will go ahead of me. Mm -hmm. I can take a break, I can regroup, and I can get fresh again. So yes. well, when we wrap up, I'll mm -hmm. just allow you to 
Let the viewers know about your business and where they can find you. <laughs> so the Meraki by Shanika, the hair salon is located on Thompson Street and that is in the vicinity of the CFBC College. We can be contacted on social media platforms that's on Facebook, also on Instagram, and that's at, at Meraki by Shanika. Meraki is M E R A K I by Shanika and uh, we also can be reached by phone at 663-4411. I'll also like to take this opportunity to emphasize that Miraki by Shanika, what I believe sets us apart is that we're really into hair care. Mm -hmm. So as much as people might call me a hair stylist, that's fine because we do produce beautiful work. <laughs> but everything that we do, what sets us apart is that every service, everything that we do, it's really geared to healthy hair. So there is no compromise in anything that we do mm -hmm. to your hair, not to your body. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really about embracing that beauty and beauty comes from a spirit space that you're healthy right yes so healthy here gives better results it does it <laughs> does it's not it does okay well yeah. thank you for being a part of our show this evening we'll yes. take a short commercial break and be right back with more youth lounge thank you <laughs> youth lounge with skanipe is sponsored in part by the saint kitts electricity company skellic powering the community we know there are moments when life just doesn't go as planned and our days pretty much takes us where it wants to but for every missed occasion, there's a great opportunity. We are making it easier to make bill payments, report faults and receive bill balances through our automated call-in service available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Simply call 465-2000 and say or press 2 to access our automated customer service system. Say or press 2 to make a payment via credit card. Enter your 8-digit Skillic account number as seen on your bill. Enter the amount you wish to pay without a decimal point. For example, enter 2000 for a $20 payment. Have your credit card on hand to enter your credit card number, expiration date and security number. One phone call gives you the power to regain control of your day. Skillex Interactive Voice Response System. Skillex Powering Responses. Cheers to the city. And the climate's changing I'm But down. hope is remaining And we can't ignore the future It depends on you and me One chance All that we got One voice Together we start Take care The world where we live Permite a todos vivir Tomamos la oportunidad Pa' guarda la humanidad And I must leave no one behind Because we are Because we are
Youth Lounge with Skanaipa is sponsored by the Department of Youth Empowerment. Join us on ZIZ TV for Youth Lounge with Skanaipa, a talk show on vital topics such as tourism, entrepreneurship, education, religion, sex education, and mental health. Featuring experts from St. Kitts and Nevis and the Caribbean region. Tune in live on the first and third Wednesday of every month at 8.30 p.m. on ZIZ TV. Welcome back to Youth Lounge with Skanaipa. I am Malika Howell. And I am Nisha Newman. And tonight we are speaking on IPN Youth. And just to hear what youth have to say about the topic of intellectual property we took to the streets. And here is the response. Do you know what intellectual property is? Yes, so intellectual property is a rule or a law that basically lets people govern their own property. So for example, if I make a software, then I can get it trademarked and copyrighted and that officially becomes mine once granted. And for anybody else to use it, they must have my permission. Without my permission, it's illegal for them to use it. What do you think the importance of protecting the intellectual property is? Um, the importance is to protect the creators, um, the stuff that they created and stuff like that, yes. So nobody else could take it. Do you know what, intele do you know what intellectual property is? Yes. What do you think the importance of intellectual property rights are? Well, the importance, well, firstly, I would say fostering innovation basically means um, investing your time into doing the craft. Another importance, I would say, um, driving economic growth, meaning um, making products, creating new products, services, anything. I would say probably uh, maintaining competitiveness, meaning you have to make sure you do good in order to stay the top of the top. What do you think the importance of having things like th that in place are? It's very important because in the world of AI technology, everything could be replicated and somebody else could very easily just copy and paste your work. So when it comes to getting these things done, having a copyright or a trademark, which basically means that your work is secured to be yours. Do you know what intellectual property is? Yes, I do. What do you think the importance of intellectual property rights are? I would say the importance is protecting your ideas because protecting your ideas is really important compared to anything else because if you had so much time and energy put into something and you're feeling out that that idea gone to somebody else you're gonna feel that way trust me you're gonna feel that way and that that's not a good feeling because if you don't got your right laws and protective um, measures I would say you aren't ready for anything in your life because if somebody steal your idea that's it you're gonna feel that way and that's it now that we've heard their responses on intellectual poverty and its importance, we are here with our second guest and I will allow her to introduce herself. Hello everyone. Good evening viewers. My name is Grace Richardson. I'm the Echo Licensing Agent for St. Kitts and Nevis. So, okay, so what is Echo? So Echo is the Eastern Caribbean Collective Organization for Music Rights. Mm -hmm. So we represent the rights of songwriters, and also music publishers. So what we do is that um, anybody who uses their work in public, we monitor and license the use of that work. That's basically what we do. So how does that go as it pertains to the monitoring? How do you, how so, are you able to manage um, that? So what happens is that uh, when a person is having an event or when they're going to license a bar, or restaurant, or any establishment where music is going to be used for the public, so they contact us, we sit with them, and we discuss the, the, the requirements. Mm. After which they'll get a permit if it's an event, or a document that says that it's an annual license if it's a bar or a restaurant or a hotel. So we sit down and discuss, and then after that, now what is supposed to happen is that the usage of the, the music is supposed to be reported to us. Okay, so if I use a song by John, and I know John, would have been registered with Echo. I'm supposed to tell you so, that I played music so by John. So it, we represent societies like ours worldwide. Yes. So it's not only John. It's mm -hmm. everybody. Any kind of music. No, I mean as it pertains right. to to reporting. Right. What is used? Yes. That so is what I'm asking. Yes. How, 
how is that process done? So what is supposed to happen is that, um, for example, if there's a recorded session, mm -hmm. um, whoever did their music is supposed to provide us with something to see, to show us what was played. So mm -hmm. I know, for example, some of the DJ software, they can output that information mm -hmm. that should be provided to us. If it's a live event, like for example, we do music festival every year, mm -hmm. what happens is that there's a document called a performance log, mm -hmm. and then we get that performance log filled out by the person who is performing, and also the, but so what is supposed to happen is that the person who is responsible for the event is also supposed to sign that mm -hmm. performance log. Okay, so this is just to say, this is what will be played. But this is what was played. Was played, yes, oh, so this is after the event. You, you can't do it before, because okay. you don't know. Because it might change. Right, it might change. You have to okay. do it afterwards. Understood, mm -hmm. understood. So, you spoke about the different licenses, so you can either get a permit or a, a license. An, an, an annual license. An annual license. So an annual. So that's if you have a full... So, for example, like, like, like for example, um, the Marriott, mm -hmm. the Park Hyatt, mm -hmm. Timothy Beach... Um, they ha and Four Seasons Nevis because they are hotels and they have events oh, all year. Right. Then mm -hmm. they have an annual license. If you go down by um, the ferry terminal mm -hmm. and you see Sonia's bar, uh, right? You're gonna see she has a license stuck up right there. Mm -hmm. she has, so she has music all the time for the year. She has right. her annual license. So you what's know? what's the cost involved? So it all depends on the square. Some some some. Um, establishments like business and offices mm -hmm. it depends on the square footage and what is audible uh, where the music is audible to the public mm -hmm. for an event it is based on the tickets mm -hmm. and normally it's um, five percent of a ticket cost but because we have a special arrangement from uh, November 1st last year to October 31st this year mm -hmm. is four percent of a ticket cost mm -hmm. Um, for free event because free events are, are, are you have to pay a license as well for that so for free events it all depends on the numbers of persons mm -hmm. that you expect to be at the um, that, at the event, the event. Uh, yeah. and it's still the same no but so so for example if you expect 200 and less mm -hmm. it will be 150 east oh, so it's a fat cost if so, it's so, a yeah, free event okay, so it, and if it's um 203 to five 201 persons to 500 persons that would be like 203 dollars and uh, i think it's 50 cents and it, it, it goes up mm, so it's determined so for free events it's determined based but, but, on the amount of right, persons right, that you right, are expecting yeah, right however for ticketed events right, it's, it's a four percent of, of the ticket cost yes of the ticket cost mm -hmm. oh wow yeah. what happens when persons are not compliant with the echo? well all i can tell you <laughs> is that around the world uh -huh. when persons are not compliant uh -huh. um, what happens is that there's a process uh -huh. so you don't um after one try you don't say okay let me go and call this person to court that's not how, how it works worldwide what happens is that you contact the user over a, s a period of time, a number of times. There are cases even, for example, example in the United States where ASCAP and BMI would have contacted persons 9, 10, 11 t times before they did something about it. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of trying to educate the person or the, or the user or the business as to why it is important to get the license, mm -hmm. right? And after you have communicated that several times, then you take action after that. What kind of action? You can take legal action because remember, uh -huh. uh, what people have to remember is that all organizations like ours are governed by the copyright acts of the countries. Oh. That is how we get our legal um, standing. So for example, um, in our copyright act in section 46.3, right? it outlines that if you are a user of, of, of music and you have not obtained a, a license to use that music, mm -hmm. then you have committed an offense. Mm -hmm. And under our, um, the p penalties for the offense, you can get a fine or jail time. Mm -hmm. A fine or jail time. A and or jail time, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is like it's a, that's our copyright <laughs> act. It's an extensive <laughs> amount of jail time. Well, well uh, let me see. Let me read it right here. Now. <laughs> oh because I, ha I have it right here. Oh my! I, I came prepared. Clearly. <laughs> yes. So, section forty-six. Uh, okay. It says that um, 
Any person who commits an, an offense under this section, mm -hmm. other than uh, blah, 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 okay, shall be liable on summary conviction to a fine not exceeding $25,000 mm -hmm. or imprisonment for a term not exceeding one year or both. Wow. And conviction oh, wow. and indictment to a fine not exceeding $100,000 mm -hmm. or imprisonment for a term not exceeding three years or both. Wow. So in that's, that, that's all copyright act, yes. In St. Kitts, it has ever reached that point? Well, you see, okay, in St. Kitts uh -huh. and in other parts of the, of the Caribbean, uh -huh. right, what tends to happen and why we don't have a lot of cases mm -hmm. is people tend to settle out of court. Right, so the, the, oh. the, the, mo the most recent one that we have in our, in our um, jurisdiction mm -hmm. um, is in Dominica. Where my, the, the agent in Dominica was um, responsible for mm -hmm. uh, a case mm -hmm. which did not go to trial. It was almost going to trial and mm -hmm. they stopped. And then they, and settled they, were, it. Yeah, they settled it. And it was with uh, Marshall Montano and um, Motto mm -hmm. and, and Derek um, Peters mm -hmm. in the, um, Dominica. He, mm -hmm. he, he is the one who did um, Balance Batty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the song Is a Vibe yeah. took a part of it. So that it was uh, all of that. But it didn't go to court, so we don't have a lot of uh -huh. examples, mm -hmm. case examples to use in the Caribbean. Yeah. So, so how does ECHO ensure that each artist is compensated so fairly? So what, what you have to realize is that we don't deal with artists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We deal with songwriters mm -hmm. and music publishers. Okay. So that's our responsibility. Okay, that makes so, sense. so 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 you, you might have an artist on stage uh -huh. and they are p performing material that is not theirs. Right. So we are it right, may have right. Been written by somebody, somebody else, completely somebody else, different. Right. right. So we're dealing with those persons, not the artists. So in some situations the artists they're just, they're just performing. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, mm -hmm. in some situations the artists are just performing. In some situations the artists are performing some of their material. Mm -hmm. So in music business, the rights are separate, mm -hmm. right? So even though it's the same person who, who is on stage and it's their material, they, what they're entitled to is two separate rights. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So y they have to be compensated accordingly. So um, for yeah. example, you have BMI, ASCAP, because in St. Kitts and Nevis, we don't only have ECHO members. Mm -hmm. We have members of BMI, we have members of ASCAP, right? And there's e even a member of COSCAP, which is the Barbados organization. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, so, so we have different per, um, persons registered with different societies like ours in St. Kitts and Nevis. Mm -hmm. And what is supposed to happen is that when they go to perform at events, they are supposed to submit their logs to each of their societies mm -hmm. to say, okay, in St. Kitts on this date, at uh, this event, I did this. Mm -hmm. Here is what it is, all right? And that comes back to us, <laughs> right? And if that event was licensed, whatever the person paid for that license is gets split up to the songwriters of, of, of the material that was used for that e event. So we're having a very great discussion. <laughs> However, we're going yes. to have to take a short commercial break and be right back with more Youth Lounge with Skanaipa. Youth Lounge with Skanaipa is sponsored in part by the St. Kitts Electricity Company, Skellic, powering the community. We know what it feels like to have your head in the game, to be in charge, and reign supreme. And we also know what it feels like to have that taken away from you. But for every missed occasion, there's a great opportunity. Simply call 465-2000. Say or press 1 to report an outage. Enter your account number or telephone number to report the outage. Clearly explain the cause of your power outage. We can even call you back to let you know when the power is restored. One phone call gives you the power to regain control of your day. Skillex Interactive Voice Response System. Skillex. Powering responses. Hey man, another day in the books. Well, hello dear. She pretty from head to toe and I ready to go.
Wait there. Whew. Can't afford to slip up. Not even in my dreams. <laughs> Wise on ZIZ TV Mondays at 8:30 p.m. Hosted by Dr. Malik Lescott, Dr. Jolette Woodley, and Dr. Patrice Lawrence. Youth Lounge with Skaniper is sponsored by the Department of Youth Empowerment. Join us on ZIZ TV for Youth Lounge with Skaniper. A talk show on vital topics such as tourism, entrepreneurship, education, religion, sex education, and mental health. Featuring experts from St. Kitts and Nevis and the Caribbean region. Tune in live on the first and third Wednesday of every month at 8.30 p.m. on ZIZ TV. Good night, good night, good night. If you're just joining us, welcome to your Thunder Sky If you're coming back from our break, welcome back. I am Malika Howell. I am Deshaun Newman. <laughs> and we are here with Grace Richardson for Echo. Uh -huh. And we're speaking on intellectual property and yes. youth. And she's just going over the process of the Echo legislation here in St. Kitts and Nevis. You were speaking while we were on break mm -hmm. about the you penalties know, the for the offense. Not only that, uh, yeah. but the members. Oh, activities. okay. Our members, okay. Um, uh, put a plug because one of our members is doing an album launch tonight. Mm -hmm. Dijour. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just signed my life. <laughs> yes. So we have uh, um, about 70 members in St. Kitts and Nevis and growing. Uh. You know, I travel between St. Kitts and Nevis very often uh -huh. because I cover both islands. Uh -huh. And we have people signing up all the time. Mm. You know, so we assist wh wherever we can. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, to sign up as a member is a one-time fee. You don't pay every time you put out a song. It's uh -huh. a one-time fee. Uh -huh. To be a songwriter member is 150 EC dollars, uh -huh. and that's it. And and you just keep on submitting your work so that we could have them in our database, uh -huh. so that when people uh -huh. search it, they, our database, they can see that um, Malaika <laughs> is the songwriter of the song. Um, mm -hmm. Hard table, and so you just keep adding to it. Yeah, yeah, right. And you just keep on adding to and and so you can search our website and look under repertoire, mm -hmm. search for a member's name, and the, the information will come up. Okay, so I know you said it's songwriters and, and music publishers. Music publishers. Mm -hmm. So if you are both, does that, that two separate categories? Yes. Or do you have yes. To search? I, I can speak personally because I'm an Echo member. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm a songwriter member, mm -hmm. and my company is a publishing oh, sure. member of Echo. Mm -hmm. So the difference between um, the songwriter and the publishing is that the songwriter can sign up as an individual, mm -hmm. but to sign up as a publisher, you have to have a company. In the music business, mm -hmm. uh, publishing mechanicals only go to companies that are um, um, set up as publishing companies. In the music business, you're not going to send the money for publishing to an individual. It has to go to a company. Mm -hmm. So even if you are acting as your own publisher, you have to set up a company and the money goes to that company. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So anyhow, you put it, you have to register as two. The, two, two separate, yes. Two separate yes, things. Yes, yes. I know you mentioned, you know, <laughs> off here again, you mentioned that you're often referred to as the bad guys. Yeah, you yeah, <laughs> always do as the bad guys. Be and I, th Why? I, I think because, because what, what happens is that when anything new is introduced, you're always the bad guy. <laughs> and what I keep on telling people is this. We don't operate in a vacuum. Remember, the Copyright Act is what guides us. Bill 2024, right? And it's going to introduce a lot more changes mm -hmm. to be able to, to make um, songwriters, publishers, and, and um, protect their rights even more. Yeah, so the, porn, the owner of pub, uh, the owner of <laughs> <laughs> the and that And that is in our copyright act, so I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> it, it's in the copyright act. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, people just need to read it. And the, the, if you have a part in giving permission, you are committing an offense. Mm. And I've been mm. on the media saying it all the time that if the police give permission for events, mm. 
-hmm. then they're committing an offense. So if they mm -hmm. give permission for an event and, and the, the event is and, and, and not have a license, a license, technically they are also li liable. Uh -huh. So the police have to also protect themselves so there has to be a way in which mm -hmm. th there is a solid way to show that they're being protected wow. and this is something that happens in other parts of the world if you look at some other police sites around the world you're going to see that they clearly state mm -hmm. what should happen when events take place it's on their sites wow. yes <laughs> well thank you for that wow. yes Oh, well, thank you for that information. <laughs> I'm sure that mm -hmm. the youth, and maybe not even just the youth, but mm -hmm. the people of the Federation are able to take that information. Yes. Not forget it, but <laughs> use it usefully. We want to thank Complete Package for sponsoring our backdrop design, <laughs> as well as all of you for tuning into this episode of Youth Knowledge with Skaniper. We'll see you for more episodes of Youth Knowledge with Skaniper in the future. <laughs> Youth Lounge with Skaniper is sponsored in part by the St. Kitts Electricity Company, Skellic, powering the community. We're giving you the power to create lasting memories, to accomplish your wildest dreams, the power to set a goal and achieve it. And we're doing so in the moments when you need us most. We think of you in all we do, because we're not just an energy provider, we are tested, committed, efficient, and most of all, we are an electricity company that you can depend on. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Skellic, powering your community with reliability. Zaraizet TV, Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Hosted by Dr. Malik Lescott, Dr. Jollett Woodley, and Dr. Patrice Lawrence. Whether you're a local gem or a national brand, ZIZ TV is the platform to elevate your presence, capture attention, drive sales, and make a lasting impression on thousands of potential customers. Don't miss out on this prime advertising space. Contact us now at 465-2621. That's 465-2621 and speak to our marketing experts. Catch the eyes, make the sales, advertise here on ZIZ TV. Join us on ZIZ TV for Youth Lounge with Skaniper, a talk show on vital topics such as tourism, entrepreneurship, education, religion, sex education, and mental health. Featuring experts from St. Kitts and Nevis and the Caribbean region. Tune in live on the first and third Wednesday of every month at 8.30 p.m. on ZIZ TV.